call me Fuego. 93 like me. Fire in the sheets, spending summers on the seas. Quedo, no way home. Renba from Quadro, of course Iro from TSM. I mean, he's he's nuts. There's so many good players now. It's so fun. But we're gonna see a plane path quite shifted down south. You know, a lot of zones up north will be quite empty, most likely. But we're gonna see players just jumping out. L Star is going towards Novo, and Entis gonna head towards Pochinki. Their you know their their destined location. Gen G, where are they gonna go? They're gonna go back to their uh, classic location of Milta Power. They just, they, I think they've just gave, given up on, you know, going south. George Tiambas has been just on a roll. There's so, no reason. To and fight if, over if it. somebody's on a roll, you don't wanna, you don't wanna mess with that. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. No, it, and yeah, it's just a, it's a smarter overall decision here from Gen G, no doubt. Nothing super different actually. This plane path. Four M just decide to back off though. I think they have a better. They, they have a pretty good idea of where uh, where uh, infantry members are scattered around. Well, I don't know for sure that they saw infantry. They've seen Gex, so they're gonna take a fight against this. Way less kicking it off, getting some damage into Leo Yanli as well, taking some damage himself. Grenade up and over. Will it connect? It goes underneath. Great grenade from Way less right underneath that vehicle catches Leo off. Here goes the push. Lou and Long coming into the warehouse. Yan Lee waiting, crouching, trying to buy some time, listening for footsteps. The stun comes in. The flanks are coming through. Yan uh, Lee, nothing he can do. 4 a.m. What that stun grenade will completely blind out Yan Lee and take the kill. Leo's, Leo's going to be flushed down as well from the grenade down he had. Uh, Mao Ye, 56. He's going to wait to take the revenge onto Aelis. You know, like, for GX, like, they have a pretty good like way to hold their compound, but uh, this time around it just didn't happen. Mao Ye is gonna Ooh. punish forever. Wow! So great patience here by Mao Ye. Now that's gonna make the Hornets angry here. They're they're buzzing. They're trying to get on top of Mao Ye. Lou's gonna flank all the way around. Mao Ye gone. Gex once again a disappointing for finish for them. They just. Look a little out of place, but look at this. This is the infantry you know and love. A team that loves the third party taking advantage of a situation. The res is down. The smokes are up. It is going to be enough in time to get another player standing here for 4 a.m. But now, infantry kind of has the position on them. Lin flanking around. Longskur in the house. Let's see if they can catch some members of 4 a.m. Yeah, infantry definitely wants to take a bite at this big cake. Lin's going to get ready with the grenade cooked. Uh, it's not going to connect too much, but Longscare is there to take the spray down to Long. One member down for 4 a.m., just two alive. And, well, Lin does spot Wayless under the vehicle, and that's going to be sprayed down on the foot. Not going to connect too much. Kai's going to be there to finish off Wayless. And Lou, last one to be in the shack here. Not the shack, but, like, uh, what do you call that? Uh... The guardhouse or something. Guardhouse. I don't yeah, know what yeah, you something. call it. You call it whatever you want. <laughs> but Nate, though, will take Lou down to more than half HP. He's going to have to heal up. But infantry left me smiling, taking two more kills, and hopefully looking towards to push Lou and take the, take the final kill on to finish 4 a.m. Yep, I, the stun is through. I think this is everything that you need to do. Indeed it is. Lin, great push here from infantry. Great third party. Oh, the molly. Lou had a molly, though. Lin, <laughs> he's going to take a knock because of it. So <laughs> at least... There's a little bit of something. Now, the res should be no problem here for infantry, but a cheeky little play there from Lou puts Lin down. Uh, by the way, of course, you guys saw it on your screen while that fight was going on. Circle is definitely military island, no doubt about it. So Sung Jung, where are you going, Sung Jung? Oh. He's going to take a beat down from Faye. That was a wrong destination and wrong route to take. That's going to be one member down from Entis. Sun Sister is smiling this time again once more compared to last match. Yeah, today going better for the Sun Sisters. Their shooting looks a little crisper. Their movement seems to be a little bit better. I mean, they did lose one member in transition, but they had to take a difficult is bullying to get out of that potentially precarious situation. Longsker now putting some fire down on a two heart, making him pay. He's out in the blue. He's taking more shots. Longsker is going to land a headshot. How in the world do you hit that? That guy is absolutely nuts. Oh, look, here's some more food for you. Just keep eating this up, long skirt. It's going to be Kai who gets the flank on a tap. And now it's just up to Asura for Griffin. And this is a hard shot for Asura. Like, uh, definitely he cannot take the res onto his teammates. Instead, he's going to take a kill. Uh, he's going to take a down onto Kai. And those shots are quite accurate, almost taking the other member of infantry down. He's going to break the doors, hoping to, you know, finish Kai off. But the flush is not going to happen. But Liang, though, is going to burn off to the circle. Those shots did definitely pay off, landing in the bodies. Oh, my goodness. Asura, that molly, I think, is pretty good. I, maybe it came up just short of getting the fire inside of the building. I thought it was going to be good enough, but maybe not. He's 
going to have to heal up. Asura might just take down infantry all by himself. It's going to be hard for somebody to get in there. Yeah, he's going oh. to eliminate infantry with some help from uh, Silver from Rush B Gaming. Now he's going to go in there and reap the rewards from his hard work. Great job by Asura. Like, you know, like on the first, though, when infantry took down two players from Griffin, we were all thinking, damn, infantry's doing so good. They're going to go out of this with a lot of kill points, four kill points almost. But in the end, Asura was, one, Asura was the one to, you know, bring the chaos to infantry, finishing them off, completely eliminating them. Yeah, I I exactly. I great job. Great individual effort by Asura. I mean, Griffin, again, if they can just find a way to get into late game. Oh, Kale oh. gets ripped out of his vehicle trying to get into the military base. The Quadro boys say no, this is our home for now. So that's going to force a different rotation out of the last two members of Entis here as it under and indigo uh, just gets set up in some barrels because they got nowhere else to go. Genji on the move. Tianba on their side, but I don't think Tianba's really going to be able to do much about this, although Loki's been knocked somewhere. I didn't quite catch where that happened. Oh, it looks like it was involved with Rush B uh, down below by the street. So Rush B is poking at everyone. They are poking towards infantry. They're poking towards Genji. Anomix is thankfully here to uh, take the res onto Loki. Detonation Gaming White, though. They're going to be uh, stuck at the little ditch here. Hopefully they can get in the cars and get moving. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's going to be a little tricky for them. Quadro making another difficult rotation. Yowook going down to the crossfire from LYG. Hikari now looking over that direction as well as VLG is outside of the circle. It's going to be a little, little tricky here for them to get in. They're going to try to work the backside of one of these bunkers or some other compounds. Now they have to run through exposed space. Spear, oh boy, there's just nothing you can do there. Spear, but some good oh. return fire from Lambo. Going to get crazy. Nice headshot there to buy his teammates some time. Hikari now getting peppered. Can VLG make this difficult situation work? Deva going for the revive. Migo's, uh, Migo's gonna take more shots towards the smoke. Davis taking the res onto Spear. None of the shots will land, just except the first shot he made. I think the res is definitely possible here, so both players will get up, heal up, and go on the run. Get into the circle. But Hikari, though, he does know where Quadro Yacha is at. He's gonna peek, and the headshot is so close, so close. That's, good. That's not gonna land onto the head, but to the neck. Yeah, I think it might have got the neck. You might be right. Let's see. We're getting a split-screen view. Uh, Detonation Gaming White has come up behind EM. EM, defense time for them. I've seen the, them play these bunkers very, very well, especially in the PUBG uh, Miracle Weekend. Uh, they actually got – it might have been a win or a second place off of playing these bunkers. So they know this terrain like the back of their hand. VLG takes another loss. It's going to be Hikari this time who is actually flushed. They were able to get the res on the spear. Here come the Sun Sisters making their own wall. I don't know if Lambu knows that they're over there. Now Faye's going to light up into him. He heard the shots. He saw maybe a little bit of movement in the smoke. Lambu's taking a bunch of damage. He can't go anywhere. He falls into the pit. This is looking horrible for all these teams on the west. And then he falls into the pit where Yacha's looking right at, so he's going to be flushed right away. Kandesu is going to finish Deva off, and VLG is going to be staying with just one member alive. And now Sun Sister is going to be taken up by Genji. I think they also took a beatdown from Tiamba far away. We'll see what happens. Yeah, right now you got to like where Genji and EM are. Uh, actually, Rush B Gaming has a pretty good position too. Spears trying to pick up anything that he can. He's trying to get a little bit of extra points for his team. He drops down into this pit, really eager to get on top of Quadro. Going to go for that heal right now. He's got the lid of the missile silo to protect him. Yacha here, and this is still inside of this circle. Yacha finding a great angle. Cheeky little play from him is going to take Spear down. And we saw little drawings coming in for our Korean commentators. I think they were uh, talking about how uh, Tiamba could just make the push onto the uh, little hill in the bottom circle here. We'll see what happens. Gen G, though, they're going to be the dead center here. And Elemental Mystic positioning themselves on the uh, top right corner. And they're going to salvage their car. I think it's a, it's a, it's a decent move. Well, it's, it's in a situation like this, it's the best of some bad options. It, like, in this circle, there's actually a lot of bad options. So I like what they're doing. Renba getting the opening knock on the crazy of LYG as they're trying to push through. That grenade just rims out, doesn't get inside the door. So that's a little unfortunate for Quadro. Probably would have liked that grenade to get in there, make things potentially a little easier. Although at this point, I think Crazy has been able to get far enough back. And again, just missing with that grenade is Renba. Pretty unusual to see him miss grenades like that. He's a very, very good player.
player. Uh, EM getting torn up a bit themselves, but this is a tough position for Quadro. Got to go through LYG, and actually under from Entis is still hanging out in the wings of all of this. Let's see what role he could potentially have to play. Grenades coming in to the ATC, but there's nobody home for those. Even that compound Quadro's pushing for is outside of the zone, so they will have to plan something out. They're going to have to drop more smokes to get inside the zone. Tiamba, as, the, as our Korean commentators have guessed, they, they're going to move right onto the uh, little hill up here. And Detention Gaming White, Melifo, he doesn't know Kinch is looking right at him. Oh, oh my gosh, that is trigger discipline. Kinch, huge moment for him. He's going to be waiting for the timing here. Just waiting and waiting and waiting. Goku taking a bit of damage, easier flush for Kinch possibly. <laughs> <laughs> and that car is just coming out of nowhere. What happened here? Okay. I, Seize was, I think, in it, driving it. Got ripped out of it as he was trying to go, or so, and something happened, or they just had to bail out of it because they were getting shot. Machao now coming in and still holding their fire as Element Mystic. They don't want anyone to know that they're here just yet. If only you could come up and melee Machao somehow. Kinch thought about it here. Now they're going to come out, light him up, take Detonation Gaming out, but this is going to alert the rest of the world to their presence. EM under fire. It's Curzon that's shooting at them from the south. Martian Chun gonna get knocked. Grenade up and over. Oh. Gets a long DD. Almost gets WNB. Now he's got to turn his attention over here. Is Kira gonna be able to get this revive? Definitely looks like he will be able to take the, take the revive if the nays don't come through. All Stars losing a lot of members here. WNB, what could he do? Alone. Or he, oh, he's a goner. Never mind. My bad. But LYG and Gen G. Enonix is going to be the one to hold off alone the push of LYG. Rest of the members parking themselves in the center of the previous circle. Enonix looking to hide himself in the uh, in the uh, area here. Yeah, this is not bad for Enonix. Uh, he might he's an aggressive player. He might push out. He shouldn't. Uh, he can just wait for LYG to come off the top of that, get them in a crossfire between his two other members, and just tear them apart potentially. We'll see if it does come to that. Tianba still trying to work their way in. Looks like they are going to be able to get into this next circle somewhat safely, kind of. Oh, and with a little help from LYG, putting shots into Rush B Gaming, that's going to make their transition even easier. And Tiamba Gaming is looking directly toward Rush B Gaming. And we'll see what happens. Kinch is going to take a spray down onto Kersion. Not going to connect just yet. All four members of Kersion are on the attack and the mission. Kinch and Kiravi, will they be able to hold this off? Martian Chen will take Kinch down. Kiravi knowing he's the last one alive here. All four men pushing hard. Kersion will finish off Elemental Mystic going out at the sixth place. And Kersion will be positioning themselves where Elemental Mystic was holding at, which was right in the circle too. So yeah, good for them. this is great stuff from Kurzon. I mean, they look really solid right now. Tiantan putting down Pow Pow, putting down G9. Rest in peace, Tianba, or excuse me, RGB Gaming, <laughs> not Tianba. Tianba doing a good job there. Yeah. And this is really good stuff from them. I was so uh, just amazed with Curzon. My mind is just like racing with how good they are right now. Taking down Element Mystic is no easy feat. Taking down Lash early on, sniffing out his position, really put the brakes on what Element Mystic was looking to do. LYG still on top of this hill. This is all still inside of this circle. So I think for now, we're going to see everything just kind of calm down. Maybe somebody will get a knock if they're lucky. As everybody's kind of peeking around, seeing if they can get some extra damage. Uh, about 25 more seconds for this one to go. And this is where the circle comes into the importance. You know, like, as you can see, the three hills are uh, loca uh, located at the edges of the white circle right now. And if the circle does decide to shift towards the right center, it's an it's an empty zone. It's a flat ground. There's not there's there's a, not a lot of things to you can take cover on. So we'll see what happens. Tiamba though, four men strong. So is Kurzan. And you know, like Kurzan is has been doing really well ever since the first game on Friday. First third, first third. Uh, yeah, they they're always seem to be here at the end of the games. I, they're just really, really strong right now. They're pl they're rotating so well. They don't need to fight. They they rotate well. When they do fight, they're not bad at all. Of course, they've been doing great. I mean, they just won against Element Mystic. Uh, they played the long game and actually out dueled a team known for playing a long game in Element Mystic. So all the props in the world to them. Circle did center, like you were kind of mentioning. There isn't a whole lot to work with on the center of the circle. There are some rocks outside of the one uh, that Genji and Tianba are holed up in. Genji's hoping to just last this out as long as they can. Headshot from Aqua 5 into Migos. Going to send him back. I think he put one into Crazy there as well, or somebody did. It might have been uh, Loki with him. Anonix just waiting. Anonix just holding. Curzon going to send it with their car. 
far. It looks like they're just going to put it up just a little bit for now into the smoke. They just wanted to inch just a little bit forward, get a good angle on these other teams that are getting forced into the circle. 52 seconds un 52 seconds until the blue zone closes in. This is this is like a chicken game. The first ones to move out will take a beat down, but the last ones to move will not have any places to move in. And the Knicks is going to be there to nade off crazy and flush him down. And the spray down will connect onto maps as well. Another player down, and Inonix is going to book it. He's just, he's just going to get in the car and just go, 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 go. Loki as well, though. He will be there to take the backup shots. And Inonix, after taking Ooh. down two kills, is going to leave with taking the two kills. A heroic move. Oh, Inonix, what more would you expect from this guy? He is a monster. Gen G, though, still some work to do for sure. Tianba doing a great job flanking down, trying to control Curzon's position. They want to keep them boxed in on the side of that hill as much as possible. Make it really hard for Curzon to get forward at all. Of course, Curzon, the team that's breathing down their necks. Tianba really would love to put the hurt onto them. Gen G, uh, right now in the circle, of course, but now the blue starts to close. Now they have a troubled... Uh, situation to deal with as they are going to actually load up in their vehicles. So this was smart by them to keep their vehicles safe. Throwing some utility oh! up front. Loki with the big grenade gets a double on the Tianba. This could end up giving the hope for Genji to win this one. And the Molly to finish Tian Tian and Lin Shun off. Only two members of Tianba alive as the circle zones in. Kershaw is going to move their vehicles to take some cover as well. Genji and Anix is going to be on the vehicle. DA going in huge, taking down Alka 5. Lorena as well, though, will take down Martian Chun. He's going to take more shots towards Kershaw. But does he? No, Genji's right on top. Oh, Loki goes down. I think he gets himself there a little bit accident there with the Molly potentially unfortunate for Gen G, but what a grenade from him. Now Tianba once again has Curzon completely pinned. They have control of the circle. Curzon still has more members up and running. Are they going to be able to do it? Lorena's going to finish. Grenade up and over. Is that going to be good? It's right in the face. It gets another double. Tianba is going to take another chicken dinner. Two games for them here on day number two of the PCS Asia Charity Showdown. Tiamba, Tiamba, Tiamba. What a game they have put up today. Like, they were farming off of South George for, uh, once again, South George, and they had a long rotation to go through to, uh, uh, to the uh, Sosnovka Island here. And even though with that long rotation, and even though they were the last ones to you know, pick up spots that they could go into, they were able to capitalize off of all the fights they had, pick up the kill points, find the spots, steal the spots, take over the spots, and in the end, find the winning chicken here. Thank you.